February is Heart Health Month, and heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. But over the last decade, treatments for heart conditions have changed dramatically, thanks in part to new technology. In the last, I should say, about 10 to 15 years, there has been a plethora of technology that has changed and advanced in the field of advanced heart failure. Dr. Mohamed Wakas is a heart failure specialist with CHI St. Vincent Heart Institute. He says until about 20 years ago, the only real treatment for heart failure was a heart transplant. Now there are other options. Left LVAD, or also known as left ventricular assist device, is a heart pump. It is a metallic mechanical pump that is implanted in the heart with, which has an inflow uh, that uh, pumps the blood from the heart goes to the pump and is ejected to the rest of the body. Harold Chronister of Benton was the first person in Arkansas to receive a type of LVAD called a Heartware HVAD at CHI St. Vincent. Another new device is called a TAVR. Our uh, uh, cardiovascular physicians, they've been using uh, uh, new structural heart disease techniques which are implanting a, a valve inside the valve, also known as TAVR, T-A-V-R, and uh, they've been very successful. Successes like these are saving lives. Patients are living better and longer with that uh, new field of mechanical support. Symptoms of a heart attack often go unnoticed. They vary significantly between men and women, and being able to recognize them mean the difference between life and death. Channel 7's Stephanie Bennett tells us how to recognize those symptoms that could save a life tonight at 10 o'clock.